Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am so excited you guys. I have some Halloween Dollar Tree DIYs for you. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely stick around, click that red subscribe button, tap the bell and all to be notified every single time I upload. That way you don't miss another Dollar Tree moment. I also do lots of giveaways on my channel hauls and much more so you don't want to miss out on a single moment and with all that being said let's jump into today's DIYs okay friends so before we start I just wanted to show you guys that this is not my idea I saw this picture on Facebook I do not know who the original poster is but I did just want to let you guys know that I did get the inspiration from this picture on Facebook so I love this little display and I can't wait to show you how to make it so you just want to take one of these little doll houses from Dollar Tree and I painted the entire thing black that way I had a nice and clean palette next I took a little bit of brown and some gold acrylic paint and mixed them together to get this beautiful bronzy color I didn't have a color like it so I just made my own and then I just painted all of like the highlighted pieces the little uh, windows at the top of the roof and like the front kind of leaving some of the details in black shine through Next, I go in with some silver acrylic paint and I just go over more of those little details. Next, I just take a very, very tiny brush and I go back in with some black um, ink Waverly chalk paint and I just kind of dry brush some of some more of those little details like the bigger window at the top and the door next i just take a really thick piece of scrapbook paper and i take my yellow waverly chalk paint and paint just a little portion of it and then i very lightly dip my brush into the pumpkin waverly chalk paint and just very lightly dry brush some of that throughout the yellow just to kind of give it some dimension i then kind of eyeballed um, at the top windows it's like a triangle so I was shocked you guys the first cut that I made fit perfectly in that little window so I did just hold that up to the paper and cut a second triangle next I did the exact same thing for the bottom windows and then to secure those into place I did just use a little bit of hot glue at the top and the bottom of the inside window and like I said, I repeated that for all of the windows and there was six total, two on each side and four in the front. Now, because this was open in the back and really wherever I'm displaying it, you're not gonna see the back, but I did just wanna show those who will display this somewhere you can see the back how to close that up so i just laid it down on a piece of foam board from dollar tree i traced it out and then cut it with my straight edge razor and then i attached it to the back with some hot glue and painted it black next i take this round sign from dollar tree i take the sticker off of it as well as the hanger and then i just lay my house down where i wanted it and glued it down now I was trying to figure out how to make a tree to go in the front yard of this little project. So what I came up with was these glitter picks from Dollar Tree. I left one alone and then I took another one and just kind of clipped all of the branches off of it. I then glued the branches down in random places to just make this little pick a little bit fuller and then I spray painted it with black. Now to make this sidewalk, you just want to kind of draw out where you want your sidewalk to be. You might want it to be straight. I don't really know, but I did mine a little bit curved. So I just kind of drew it out and then took some rocks from Dollar Tree, laid those out as best as I could to where they looked uniform, I guess you can call it. And then I glued those down with some hot glue. Now to fill in these cracks, once again, I was unsure of how to do it and I came up with using wood putty 
so I just kind of took the wood putty and smashed it in between the rocks and then just kind of formed it with my fingers up the sides to make a perfect little sidewalk. Next, I take my little tree and I cut the end off of it because this was such a long pick. It did not look right, it was too tall. So I did just cut the end off of that pick. Now I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of tricky. So I just kind of scored it and there was like this wax around it, you guys. I don't know, it was weird. But there was wax around it so I just cut through the wax and got down to the metal part and then I just took my time and cut that away. I then took some Spanish moss and laid it down all over the place and if you just kind of pull on this and push on it so I laid each piece down in the spots that I wanted it and I just kind of played with it pushed it down to where it got flat and then glued it down and I repeated that step all the way around now it's time to decorate this baby look how cute this is already you guys whoever made this originally was a genius she did such an amazing job um i guess i don't really know if it was a guy or a girl but whoever made it did an amazing job and i knew that i just had to try my hand at one so i took the little skeleton garlands from dollar tree and the little pumpkins that come in the scented pine cones as well as a little hail yeah hail of hay <laughs> bale of hay and I just kind of decorated my piece how I liked it you can decorate this however you like it but I did just kind of follow along the theme with the original posters and then I kind of added my own twist here and there so I had this little car from Dollar Tree and I ended up taking the wheels off and taking a hammer and smashing the top of it and then I went in with my Mod Podge and some cinnamon in random places and just kind of rusted that little car. I then stuck it in the spot I wanted to with some hot glue and then I took some more of that Spanish moss and kind of just filled it in around the car because like the original posters project I did just want I did want this car to look like it was kind of old and you know growing in the nasty grass or whatever you want to call it and then to make some cobwebs on my little tree all I did was take two scrap pieces of wood and put some hot glue on the end and then kind of smashed the two pieces together and I hurried up and pulled it apart and just kind of put some of those glue strings all around the place to make it look you know spooky next I took these little pieces of signs from this little we were meant to be sign and I only used two of them and cut those in half next I take my tin acrylic paint I believe that's what it's called I got it from Hobby Lobby and it's a galvanized metal but it's kind of like a darker galvanized metal so I did just give three of those well actually I painted all of them and we only ended up using three but I painted all of them with that acrylic paint and then I went in with my sterling silver acrylic paint and just kind of randomly dry brush some of that silver all the way around these little tombstones Next, I took my white paint pen and just drew a few little spooky sayings. I kind of looked up on Google like what goes on these little faux tombstones and I kind of just did my own thing. I didn't really see anything that I really liked. So on one of them, I put RIP with like little skull or not skull and bones, but little bones. Another one I did RIP in a different font with some cobwebs and then the last one I put here lies and also put a cobweb or two.
So because I wanted these tombstones to look old and weathered, I did go in with a very tiny brush and some of my Waverly Antique Wax and just kind of randomly put splotches of the antique wax all over the place once again just to make these look old. Now to make these stand up really nicely, I took Jenga blocks and I just glued those to the back. That way when we go to glue these down, I have a little bit more to glue to. I then just glued them down in the spots that I liked. I played around with it first before I glued anything down. That way I can make sure that I liked where the placement was. Um, and then I just took some more of those skeleton uh, garland and cut the other one apart and just kind of randomly put things. So I put two skulls at the base of the sidewalk and then I cut up the bones and just randomly place them because I did want this to look kind of like a graveyard, kind of like a spooky house. I don't know. I just thought that they looked really cute but if you don't like that you can totally leave that out. Last but not least, I took a stick that actually was in the uh, Spanish moss. I just kind of put that aside and I cut it down to two pieces and made a little cross. And then I did the same exact thing with a skewer from Dollar Tree and glued those down with some hot glue. Again, I played around to see the placement before I glued anything. And once I was happy with it, then I did secure it to my project with some hot glue. And then literally you guys that was it. This did take me a little bit of time, but you guys I enjoyed this process so much This is totally out of my comfort zone. This is actually the first Halloween DIY video I have ever done So let me know in the comments down below of course what you think of these projects And if you guys want to see more Halloween decor from me soon So I would like to thank Tammy times three, Daisy and Julie for the craft supplies. If you guys enjoy my work and would like to support my channel as well as get a shout out on my next video, go to the link in the description box below and you can do that through that link. I always like to tell you guys that you do not have to support me monetarily. There are many, many ways you can support your favorite creators, like hitting that thumbs up button, sharing the video with your family and friends. You can subscribe. And then last but not least, the way we get paid from YouTube is for our viewers to watch the ads and click on the ads. Again, that is how we get paid. Not that it's very much, but it does help. And whatever way you support me, I appreciate you guys very, very much. So moving on to the next project, you guys, this one was super, super simple. So I took this sign from Dollar Tree. It is the chalkboard longer sign with the pumpkin cut out at the top. And I took my Beware Transfer from Chalk Couture. All of the Chalk Couture products that I used will all be in my link tree in the description box below. You'll see all of the links are in one place. Just click that link and it takes you to all of my links. And then for the projects or for the products <laughs> that I used, it'll say Chalk Couture products used 830 here. Next, I just cut that sign down because it was a little bit too long. So I hold my transfer up, mark it, and then cut it down with my utility knife. 
I then fuzz my transfer really good with my fuzzing cloth. That way when I pull it up, it doesn't stretch and ruin my transfer. Since these are reusable, you don't want to mess it up. I then took my shimmer pumpkin at the bottom of the be beware and then the white at the top and just wet my finger a little bit and then kind of smudge that together in the middle to make that beautiful ombre effect. I then had my little helper help me with the crow. She was so excited to help you guys. She chalks perfectly and loves it. So I know you can too. And then you pull back that transfer to reveal that gorgeous image. And you guys, that part literally never gets old. It is my favorite part and I look forward to it every time I DIY. To finish this sign off, I just take my mini chip brush and some white Waverly chalk paint and I just dry brush all the way around the edges to kind of give it that spooky feel and I don't know, I was kind of going for like a cobweb effect. I don't know if I really made that happen, but nonetheless, I still love the way that this sign turned out and I know you'll let me know in the comments down below which project was your favorite. If you're new here, my name is Melissa and I am so grateful and happy to have you. And each week on my channel, I thought it would be really fun to show you guys my earrings of the week. This week, a sweet subscriber named Amber had sent me some goodies as well as a matching bow for my daughter. And she does have a cute little shop named Bella's Bows. And I will leave all her information in the description box below. So she sent me all of these faux earrings faux earrings faux leather earrings these are the buffalo check naturally i wanted to wear those they have gold they have black buffalo check you can't go wrong she has a bunch of different patterns and styles so like i said definitely check her out i love to support small businesses so also i wanted to let you guys know don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with your family and friends if you think that they would enjoy it as well because those shares and those thumbs up really help my channel to grow and help YouTube to notice me just a bit more. So with all that being said, like I said, don't forget, check her shop in the description box below and let's jump back into today's DIYs. Okay friends, moving on to the last project, I take two of these little decor signs from Dollar Tree. Actually, I only ended up needing one. So you only need one and I took my staple pull and I just took those arrows off of the bottom. I then took this little square decor piece from Dollar Tree. I'm not really sure what they call it, but the top is like a tile and it did pop out. So I did just secure that with some hot glue. And then I took a stir stick that I got from Sherwin Williams. I don't know if you guys know this, but any Sherwin Williams will give you free large stir sticks. They're just a little bit of a different size. So I just buy mine because they're thicker and they're heavier but there is a free option out there if need be so i just use my faux stain to stain that stir stick and then i take my sanding sponge sand down those little spots where the staples are or were i should say in the arrows and then i paint that little square decor piece from dollar tree black I also paint the little arrows in black and I give those a distress coat. Next, I take my chalk couture transfer, I cut those apart, and then it's just kind of figuring out where you want these. So I did end up taking a wooden circle from, I believe I got it from Walmart, and giving it a distressed coat of Ink Waverly chalk paint. And then I took that October 31st and just transferred that on to that circle. Next, I take my radioactive transfer, and I was kind of unsure how I was going to make this one work but all I did was just take the radioactive at the beginning 
transferred that on with my white chalk paste and then because all of those little symbols were not going to fit I did end up just doing the triangle and the skull the triangle I did in the um I believe this is daffodil chalk paste um, don't quote me but I will have it in the link in the description box below and then I transferred on the skull with that white as well and then once again literally you guys you pull back that transfer reveal that gorgeous little image and I just I cannot I cannot get enough of it you guys I keep saying it but it is so true it literally never gets old it's literally like a magic trick but I did transfer on the wording with my white chalk paste and then for that little spider I went in with my shimmer plum Now if you can see on that little F there was a tiny bit of bleed through which is no big deal to fix. If you are chalking on a chalkboard you can just take a q-tip and remove that very easily with a little bit of water or if you are using the transfers on like a painted surface like I am all I did was go in with a little bit of ink waverly chalk paint and just covered that up. I then just glued the circle to the top of my piece and then kind of arranged the arrows how I like them and once I was satisfied then I glued those down with some hot glue as well. Now to decorate this I took these little back clips from Dollar Tree. I took them off of the clips and because these are like cheap plastic Dollar Tree items some of the wings did have like excess plastic hanging off so I did just trim those pieces just to make the bats look more uniform but once again I kind of just laid them out where I like them and then once I had them where I wanted then I just glued those down with some hot glue Again, to secure this, I used hot glue and a Jenga block in the back to make sure that it had some stability. And then to fill in the bottom, I once again used that Spanish moss. Next, I took these little glittery skulls from Dollar Tree. They came in a bag with quite a few of them. They were the perfect size, but looking at them, you, you can kind of tell they're skulls, but I did just want to highlight the details in the skulls. So I just took a little brush and some Ink Waverly chalk paint and just kind of highlighted the eyes, the nose, and the mouth, and then I glued those down to my piece where I like them. And then that was it for this project you guys look how amazing this turned out i am actually in love with making halloween decor now and i am so grateful that you guys asked me to do a halloween video or two because it really helps me to step out of my comfort zone and make decor that i wouldn't normally make and now I'm totally obsessed with it. So it is a win-win in my book. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of these projects. Would you like me to do more Halloween videos? Are you like, uh, that was enough. Thank you, but no thank you. <laughs> I always love to hear what you guys think in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Again, I appreciate every single one of you more than you'll ever know. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Share it with your family and friends if you think that they would enjoy it as well. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I make lots of DIY home decor on this channel. I love it so much. I put all my heart into my projects and I feel like it shows. So let me know what you guys think. And with all that being said, if nobody has told you today, you are absolutely amazing and worthy. You are gorgeous and I love you with all my heart and soul and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.